Greetings, everybody. Welcome here to Prog Monster. My name is Murph. I am the host of this show, a show dedicated to progressive rock and other forms of rock music. So I'm back here on day 15 now of the 30 bands that I have yet to follow, the series that we're running for the month of September. I hope you've uh, enjoyed it up to now as we're halfway through. I've got 30 bands to do here. Actually, I've got a lot more of them, but you can only pick 30. If you have 30 days, you can only have one a day. I mean, I could do two a day, but that would be overtaxing it. And, uh, you know, can't always do what you want. So basically what we're doing here on this series is I've picked out 30 bands that I follow to some degree, I guess. Uh, I like some of their music. I've listened to stuff on the radio. I may actually even own an album by them. Or I may have done a review on an album because somebody asked me to. Or uh, they've been suggested as a band I should listen to. But for whatever reason, I'm not, I've yet to buy anything or follow them or haven't gotten into them. Today's band is, an, is, a, is a good example of this type of thing. You know, This is a band who I've had in a couple of tournaments that I've done on here. And we may actually do another one of these, another Battle of the Band things. I'm thinking that... Uh, that that might work out again but anyways uh, so we have uh we did this band i've listened to a couple of albums i actually liked an album by them that came out i believe it was this year actually and i was really actually quite taken with the album i liked it a lot um and the band is solstice so this is one of those bands that came out during the what they call the new wave of prog of prog rock or not new wave but it was the uh second wave of prog rock music or progressive rock music that started uh that label started when marillion came out and was releasing stuff and people have told me they don't even think marillion really is that progressive a band and and they're they're probably right they're not overly progressive but they started it and then a bunch of other bands uh such as iq palace uh, Pendragon, North Star, and this band, Solstice, have all come out with albums too that fall well within that that sound. Uh, I call it kind of a um, atmospheric kind of uh, synth symphonic, if you want, kind of prog rock that started with these bands in the 80s. Some of them have done very well with it. This is one of those bands. And I think my problem with Solstice initially was that I didn't care for the female vocalist. I'm not really sure why. I, I, I find her fine now, but for whatever reason then, I didn't really like it. <coughs> Sorry, a little bit more of a cough today again. Been been good for a few days, but now it's bugging me again. <laughs> oh, right, maybe we'll just have a drink. Oh, that tea's been sitting there for a week. Maybe that wasn't such a good idea. Anyways, so this band has a, a recent album out that I like quite a bit. Um, they've they've got some really good sounds to their music. It's very progressive. It's a little bit milder than you might get from, uh, say, Marillion or IQ or even North Star, but some excellent sounds to this uh, to the album. Um, I almost want to say this is a even though it's got that uh, atmospheric uh, synthes symphonic kind of sound to it, it also has a little bit of a softer feel to it as well. So, um, But uh, some of the songs on the new album were quite uh, heavier than I was expecting, and uh, so I, I really took stood up and took notice. This is, this is a band I want to get into, so to me, even though I haven't followed them yet, it's just a matter of time with this band. There's just no two ways about it. And a lot of those... Uh, um, neo prog bands, if you want to call them from the 80s, uh, are, are of big interest to me, and I want to go in that direction a little bit more than I did. But IQ is the is the main one, and they're the ones that have propped me up here on this. And but Solstice is a is a band that uh, I have liked, and I still like, and I'm hoping that I will start producing. And the other issue with not. Um, not getting into some of these bands, getting their um, getting their stuff is not easy to get. Uh, most of them haven't really made it that big here in North America, so you got to order it overseas, and then it's expensive. And not um, not that I uh, have less money like I had as a teenager, but um, 
the money I do have is being sucked dry by uh, the inflation that we're going through now. So I have to be very picky about it. I've wasted some money recently that I wish I had gone in a different direction with. So i uh, got to be a little bit careful. And that's part of the reason why I haven't followed these guys. But they're well-deserving. They're... If you're a band, if you like that neo prog sound that you get with Marillion and IQ and Palace and Pendragon and North Star, this is another one of those bands that'll fit right in there. And uh, I think this one is actually, they've got some really good artwork on their covers as well. And uh, yeah, so I'm looking forward to uh, pursuing this band in the future. Anybody has any comments about the band? You can put them in the comment section below. Please don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and notification bell. And we will be back on day 16 with another band that I have yet to follow. So take care and have a good one. Bye.